criminal charges. We have live team coverage of the first arraignment of a former president ever. Our Caleb Califano starts us off this morning live near Mar-a-Lago and Caleb Trump will be released today no matter what. That is correct. That's what legal experts tell us, Stephen. But here at Mar-a-Lago, after a dramatic exit yesterday, the former president now in New York set to be arraigned sometime later this afternoon. Now, those legal experts tell, that we talked to say once Donald Trump is si inside the courthouse in Manhattan, he will be fingerprinted and photographed. Then he will be arraigned shortly after. Because of New York law, there is no bail, meaning the former president will be released immediately after his arraignment. At that time, the indictment will then be unsealed. The grand jury may made the decision to indict the former president after hearing evidence over Trump's involvement of $130,000 in hush money he paid to adult film star Stormy Daniels before the 2016 election, allegedly to hide the relationship. Trump going to his app True Social yesterday, once again calling the investigation a, quote, witch hunt. This, in turn, has brought in talks of a possible gag order issued by the judge. Richard Serafini, a criminal defense attorney and former attorney for the Department of Justice, tells us he doesn't believe that will happen, but says if he were Trump's attorney, he would advise him to keep his comments to a minimum. It's no different than any other, any other criminal defendant. And, and, you know, you never tell criminal defendants, you know, oh, gee, by all means, go out and have a press conference for crying out loud and talk about the case. And we now know that the judge has ruled no video cameras in the courthouse today. However, he did allow five, a group of five still photographers to take pictures right before the arraignment happens. For now, we're live at Mar-a-Lago. Caleb Califano, WPBF 25 News. Caleb, thank you. Former President Donald Trump, meanwhile, has been gearing up for this legal battle. Our Josie Carbonari continues our live team coverage also from Palm Beach with how Trump's defense team is preparing for his day in court. Good morning, Josie. Well, good morning, Stephen. Good morning, Nathalie. This morning, things here at Mar-a-Lago are very quiet. It'll be a much different story, though, up in New York as that arraignment gets underway. We did speak with the former uh, president's attorney, and he tells us that things are still up in the air as far as how the arraignment will go and all of the details surrounding it. Uh, we saw a lot of supporters yesterday along Southern Boulevard here in Palm Beach as former President Donald Trump made his way to Palm Beach International Airport to turn himself in in New York. The former president has expanded his legal team ahead of today's arraignment. We're also learning Trump hired former federal prosecutor Todd Blanche to lead his defense team. Blanche is a former assistant U.S. attorney in the Manhattan U.S. attorney's office and recently resigned from his law firm to take on this new role. His other attorney, Joe Takapina, telling ABC News with this arraignment being a historical one, it's very different than any others he's done in the past. Done a million arraignments in that courthouse um, with, with celebrities and whatnot, but this is a whole different thing. Um, we have Secret Service involved. Um, I understand that closing the courthouse for the afternoon. Um, I, I just don't know what to expect to see. Hopefully, what I uh, what I hope is that we get in and out of there as quickly as possible, that it's uh, at the end of the day, a typical arraignment where we stand before the judge. We say not guilty. And after the arraignment, President, former President Donald Trump will be heading back here to Palm Beach. He'll be at his Mar-a-Lago estate later tonight to give a public statement to his supporters. Reporting from Palm Beach, I'm Josie Carbonari, WPBF 25 News. Josie, thank you for breaking that down. Right now, we do want to take you back to a live look here over Trump Tower. You can see it where the former president is staying right now. This is just four miles from the Manhattan Criminal Courthouse. So we want to map it out for you here as well. Sources tell ABC News that Trump...